it's time to get your arrows popping. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring and today's tutorial is going to be about solving linear equations part one. That's right, this is our first video in our series revolving around solving linear equations and it's you and me here today. So let's get things started, shall we? In our first video, we'll be discussing solving one-step linear equations. And in order to dive into the examples that we have in this video, I want to begin by showing you exactly what's going to be in store for you today. Here are our two examples for this video. And we'll also discuss some properties of linear equations. For one, for all real numbers A, B, and C, if A equals to B, if you add a number C to both sides of the equation, it will retain its equality. That's right, that the equation will look different, but it will still be balanced. The same thing goes for the other operations found here, the subtraction property of equality, multiplication property of equality, division property of equality. Anytime you do any of these operations to both sides of an equation, the equation will retain its equilibrium and both sides of the equation will be balanced. Okay, so how do we apply that to example number one? Well, first and foremost, when solving any linear equation, your goal is to get the variable by itself. You want a positive one of whatever that variable is. So in this case, our variable is the variable x, right? And we're going to be solving for x, but we only want to solve for one x, not two x's, not x squared, not x to the fifth power, just one x to the first power is the goal to get it isolated. And how do we go about doing that? Well, we're going to look at both sides of the equation. On the left side of the equation, you have x plus 21. You have that value. On the right side of the equation, you have the value negative 25. And what you want to do is you want to isolate the variable x. So that's what we're attempting to do. Notice that when I've highlighted that variable x, what remains on the left side is that positive 21. So how do you go about getting rid of that positive 21 from the left side of the equation? Well, that's where the subtraction property of equality will serve as well. Because the 21 is positive, we want to use the opposite of that. In other words, because they're adding 21, we'll be subtracting 21 in order to isolate the variable x. And it'll look just like this. I'll have minus 21 to both sides of the equation. You can also say that you're adding negative 21 to both sides of the equation and thereby using the addition property of equality. Either way will work because your next step is to combine these values on the left side of the equation. In other words, simply bring down the variable x and what you're looking at now with the 21s are additive inverses. Additive inverses are opposites. So a positive 21 combined with a negative 21, they'll cancel out to zero. So we'll show that by just xing it out here, okay? And then bring down your equal sign and when combining negative 25 and negative 21 like signs add and you'll retain the sign and so you'll end up with a negative 46 as your result here when i complete my answers guys i love to show off to my instructor and put a big red box right around the answer just like that all right so in other words i'll be red boxing it just like that guys and that completes problem number one in problem number two we have another one-step linear equation your first thing to do is analyze this find out what's going on here we have negative 17 in equals 51 anytime you have a number in front of a variable the assumed operation is multiplication and just like in our previous problem you want to do the opposite operation in order to isolate the variable so since negative 17 is multiplying on our variable n we're going to use the division property of equality once again using that opposite operation in order to isolate the variable so what i'll do is i'm going to divide both sides by that exact same value so unlike using the addition and subtraction property of equality, where you're going to be using the opposite sign or opposite value, when you're dealing with the division property of equality, you use that exact same coefficient, aka the number in front of the variable. Simplifying, we're going to 
cancel out that negative 17 because negative 17 divided by negative 17 is positive one. So I'll be able to bring down that variable in and then positive 51 divided by negative 17, a positive divided by a negative, that gives us a negative three as our result. And you better believe we'll be red boxing our answer. So these are two examples of how you can solve a one-step linear equation. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Fort Bend Tutoring, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you hanging out with Fort Bend Tutoring. Like the video, comment, and subscribe.